Most creators tell me that they think the 3D world style is the hardest one to work with. Today, I'm gonna to show you four genius 3D world style ideas made by amazing creators that are simple and easy to use. Let's get started. Our first idea is all about falling with style and comes to us from Brahmi. As always, the level codes for every course shown in the video are gonna be in the description below, so be sure to check those out. Our goal for this one is to make Luigi free fall for the entire course. To do this, we use the vertical subworld with enemies and Luigi falling from the very top and goes all the way to the very bottom. This makes use of the 3D world movement skills to carefully navigate Luigi through those enemies. Spin can make Luigi move upward, Ground Pound briefly moves Luigi up and then slams him down with super speed, and a Ground Pound cancel helps Luigi match the spiny speed again. If Luigi's too slow, the enemies will fall on top of him and crush him. If he makes it through this maze of falling enemies before they reach the bottom of the zone, he can move on and clear this course. Our next idea comes to us from Nabuzz and uses crates in a way that I've honestly never seen anyone use before. Luigi needs to use crates with careful timing to solve six puzzle rooms. The crates rise and fall on a consistent timer and give the illusion of changing their buoyancy or floatiness. The secret here is that the water rises and falls above the screen that Luigi can see. He can use falling crates to push enemies downward when he normally would just bounce on top of them. He can make items float upward if he gets a crate underneath that item. In order to get through the end of each room, he needs to save his crate and step on it to get through the door. Strangely enough, they're strong enough to make thwomps rise and can be overlapped with semi-solids or cloud blocks to open up the pathway forward by pushing bullet blasters up. We can combine crates with exclamation mark blocks to change their location without breaking through them. Our third idea removes everyone's least favorite mechanic from the game, swimming. This simple concept is brought to us by random and it doesn't even require a clear condition to make work. All we use here are spiky skip squeaks overlapped with cloud blocks underneath the door that we need to get through. If Luigi swims, the game counts it as a jump and causes the skip squeak to jump up and block the door. Now I know what you're thinking, the skip squeak is still a block below after the first jump. Can't Luigi just cheat and walk through? Well, I tested that theory and it turns out those spikes are pretty spiky and can still poke through the cloud to hurt Luigi. To ensure there's no other way to cheat through, we don't give any power-ups throughout this level to make sure that Luigi can't just damage boost his way through those spiky skip squeaks. Challenges are all about momentum in this one. We can get thwomps to fall at the perfect moment to bounce on soft skip squeaks on top. We can use a giant Koopa to gain an extra bounce to get across the room. Mushroom trampolines and piranha creepers are helpful to move us to the right of the screen. Clear pipes can stall Luigi while he sets up his way forward. Soft squeaks and pipes can help Luigi stay afloat while waiting for a slow ant to bounce on to move across. Combine the POW mask to break through areas and change on off blocks without having to jump. The last idea is for all the pacifists out there and comes to us from creator Maze42. If Luigi kills any enemy in this course, he is rewarded with a key of shame. The shameful key forces him to live out his life in a spiky chamber of remorse by teleporting him through a key box of dishonor. To avoid this humiliation, he needs to get through the whole course without killing anything so he can eventually bypass the key box of dishonor and go into the teleporting box of peace. Luigi will have to carefully jump over enemies or run under them. He can bounce on a big piranha plant once because it doesn't kill them and they'll eventually bounce back. He needs to be careful about activating pals because it could destroy his foes depending on how close they are. The Goomba mask allows him to sneak through areas with careful timing. Luigi can annoy a giant Koopa by stealing his shell without hurting the innocent turtle. 
he'll need to knock back bullies just far enough to squeeze into a hidden door behind them. To finish this course, he needs to damage boost quickly through the boom boom and jump into the pipe before the thwomp attacks. For eight more incredible 3D world ideas, click on the screen right now. For more Mario Maker 2 inspiration, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.